social media AI tools. In this video, I'm talking about some of my new favorite tools to use in social media management that have a huge AI aspect or are completely AI. Make sure you also check out my other video where I talk about my favorite social media management tools for 2024. All right, let's dive right in. Number one, we want to have a social media AI tool that does everything for us. It creates the content, it comes up with the content, it designs the content, it writes the content, it finds hashtags for us, and it schedules it for us. Sounds too good to be true? No. So obviously I do believe that is the future that we're slowly moving into. And today I'm sharing two tools. Well, I focus on one tool, but there are two tools who do something similar. So number one is called Okaya. I hope I said that correct. And it's an all-in-one scheduling creation tool. And number two is called Pradis.ai. They're both similar. The reason why I'm sharing with you Pradis.ai is because I already have a login and it's easier for me that way. So here you see we have different options on what we can do and I'm just gonna do text to post. So I wanna create a post where we talk about how to get started as a freelance social media manager. And now I can give it different Um, inputs but for now I'm just gonna click generate and the AI tool is gonna come up with some posts I already did it as a test before and you can see that this is how the post looks like because I chose carousel post in this specific option and here we just have a normal post obviously I wouldn't choose this one just obviously I would have to change it with my face but even then I feel like there's a lot going on in that picture so I would choose this one here you can still obviously customize it you can add your logo if you want you would do your brand colors etc but it has already come up with the copy and I will say I did not change the copy and it's pretty good like it's pretty good I feel for like basic information so I could come up now with some more ideas and add like my personalized touch to it I can then go to captions and it has already written a caption for me. I can generate more captions. I can go to the hashtags section and it will now look for specific hashtags for this type of post. And then at the end, I can schedule it. So there we go. We have hashtags created by um, based on the caption, but I can also base it on a keyword. I could say social media manager, and I can also then sort it by relevancy and pick the hashtags that I feel are best. So I'm gonna choose these and then I'm gonna click continue. And now you could link your Instagram account or wherever you wanna post it and then schedule it and it will automatically post to your account. So this is an all-in-one tool. And like I said, the other one would be Okaya. You can test it out, see how you feel. I personally believe you will still need a human in order to create good social media content because we need a strategy first. We can't just come up with content ideas because the issue with that is we will have so many different content pillars, so many different content ideas. There's no clear line in this. So while this can help and maybe you are a business owner, you're just starting out and you really need support, that is definitely helpful. But as a long-term strategy, I feel you need an actual social media strategy before you dive into any tool like that. Another tool that you already know, it's called ChatGPT, but what I wanna share with you today is how the advanced ChatGPT, so ChatGPT 4.0, has integrations with other tools, specifically now here with a tool called InVideo. So what I can do is I can chat with ChatGPT what kind of video I want to do, and then InVideo will do the video for me. So we'll start and say, okay, what do you want to talk about and say, I want to make a video. Obviously you would do way more prompts. I think the biggest mistake with AI tools is that you don't give it enough information. You need to be super specific about the target audience, what you want and what you don't want. Um, So here we go. It gives me a brief, a video brief on what should be in the video, where it would be posted, etc. And then you can see down here, it starts actually creating that specific video. And then once it's finished, 
I can click on it and see the video. And there you go, the finished video. You can still edit some stuff, but this is how those tools work together. Again, in the beginning, all these tools are in beta version and they will get better over time, but I do believe it can be helpful if you have no idea what you want to do and you have no footage at all. Now, talking about not having any footage at all, I shared with you in my last video how you can join memberships that create videos for you and you can just download the footage and then use it for yourself. But there are also AI tools who create footage for you. So let me give you an example. This tool is called Pika.art and what it does, it creates videos by your prompt. So you can see I have done here several different prompts and then it has created this video material for me. So now I wanna see how would it look like if I would say, do woman scrolling on phone. And there we go. I mean, not ideal in this case. <laughs> so that's why all my past um, prompts didn't involve humans. I will say for just general office views or maybe you want to have anything uh, with food, you could try that. It can be helpful because then you can get some footage. Otherwise, again, I do suggest some memberships where you can get stock. Well, it's not stock footage. It's really created by just one or two people and it looks so much more natural. So go check these out for sure as well. Now, still staying in the video area, let's move to another tool. And this tool is called wizard.ai. And what you're doing is you're uploading your video either from a link. So for example, from a YouTube video, you can upload it from a file or you can also upload it directly from Zoom. So the tool will look for the best parts of your video. And this is all AI generated. It would take too long to upload it now and my computer I think won't survive it now with all these other tools that I have open and then basically it will translate it for you and it will give you the best options and the best snippets that you can use for short form video content. So it does the work for you, it gives you the best snippets, it translates everything and all you got to do is upload your long form video. Very helpful if you have people who have video podcasts. Another one of my favorite AI video tools is called read.io and similar to Wizard, you can upload your video already in here and do some editing or you can also do text to speech or if you don't want to be the one who is talking over, so you don't want to do the voiceover, you can have an avatar do it. They look pretty realistic. You also find some ones that are completely unrealistic, like you have Santa Claus on there, which is quite funny for like a Christmas video. And then what it has as well is you can clone your own voice. So then when you upload a script, it can read as your voice. Pretty scary, but it is a good tool to edit your videos. It saves you time. So try this one out as well. And then the last AI tool, it's not technically an AI tool, but it's an AI feature that you might not know. And that is the AI feature from CapCut. So if you go on CapCut.com, you'll have the free version. You can do it on desktop right away. And when you go to Magic Tools, you'll see that there are quite a lot of tools that you can use and you can also do create with AI and it will help you come up with ideas or even edit specific videos for you. So check out CapCut as well. And I believe they will have even more stuff in the future. TikTok is actually, as we record this video now, looking at doing AI features inside the app as well. All right, these are my favorite AI features. Make sure you also follow us on TikTok because I constantly post new content on there. And if you have any specific tools or wishes for videos for me to make for you, let me know in the comments below.